blessings beautiful people i hope you guys are having a phenomenal day um 30 for 30 challenge man last day uh it's been amazing um god is just man i man the last couple of days uh hadn't been feeling like myself but i can honestly say um yesterday and today god man has just filled me with this fire and this this burning passion um for him um so you know i know it's the last day of the prayer challenge but i want to i want it we began in prayer and i want it to end in prayer um and and just lift you guys up before the lord um and and pray for some things whatever the lord places over my heart i don't want to restrict holy spirit i want him to move how however he wants to move um but i, I just want to you know let you guys know man i am so grateful that you guys joined me um and did this prayer challenge with me i you know i can't uh i can't you know say it enough man this this man one successful prayer challenge down i know there will be many more uh that god will place on my heart to do um and 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 if anything that you got from this it's to talk to god man you know the the word says um if we acknowledge God in all of our ways, he'll direct our paths. Sometimes we look for direction and we look for it outside of God. Um, but man, in understanding that God is everything, you know, the, over the last couple of days, I say I haven't been feeling myself. I, I just realized that, man, God is everything. And when um, when I'm not, when I don't feel, when I'm... Uh, there, I'm, I'm trying to, I want to catch my words because there's never a, a, a time that I'm not without God. But sometimes in my mind, I think, man, I'm not connected. I'm, I'm not, I'm always with God. God lives within me. So if you have moments where you feel disconnected and without God, God is always with you. He lives within you. So he, and his word says he can't leave you nor forsake you. Um, I think just sometimes we are, the time we spend makes us feel, it's just like with any other person when you feel like you haven't heard from your friend in a long time. It's like, okay, friend, what's going on? you feel disconnected because you haven't talked to him you haven't heard from him um but once you begin to talk back to him and, and hear from him and follow up and hear how their day is going you realize oh man i ain't you know i i'm still connected you still my dog you still so if anything make sure that you're still inviting god into your day um acknowledge god is just to in, in, invite him invite him into your day make sure that you're spending time talking to him about whatever's going on in your life whatever you're feeling if it's depression if it's anxiety if it's overwhelmed if you feel inadequate if you feel whatever don't just tell god about the good things that's happening god you know i thank you for my promotion and all that you want to talk to god about everything if you acknowledge him in all your ways all there is nothing left out of all so that means if you dealing with lustful thoughts if you dealing with things that are contrary to god and you think god ain't gonna agree with me doing this um you want to lay it before him you want to lay it before him not just the good you want to lay everything remember this is a relationship and in relationships you can't allow what you think god will upset god and make him angry uh to not take that before him because god ain't like that god ain't like man he's not like god what i love about god is god you know he gives us gifts and sometimes we think when we miss and we mess up man god gonna he gonna indian give he gonna take that back because i missed it but god is not like us he don't indian give if he gave it it's yours to have um and when you i've, I've if anything that i've learned in this prayer challenge is I've learned a couple of things and I'll, I'll share it. Let's, let's, let's talk. Um, I've learned that God does things and he don't do it the way we expect. Um, there are a few things that God has asked me to do um, and he didn't do it um, the way I expected him to do it. Um, and, you know, it, it kind of, at first it was like, okay, it make you, you can sometimes may miss God, you know, like, oh, wait. You may not see God in it because it's like he didn't do it the way I thought he was going to do it, but it was him. Um, and and it, when I went on the cruise, the Lord told me to do something and 
I initially thought he told me to, you know, there are going to be people that you're going to minister to. And I thought that I had a way in which it was going to happen. I'm like, OK, they're going to come up to me. I'm going to do this is how it's going to happen. And it didn't happen that way. And when it didn't happen that way, I didn't think it happened. But it actually did happen. God used me to pray um, for the entire ship to go to each door and just lay hands on the door and, and begin to pray. And I, at first I was like, okay, God, you told me to do something, but then, and he did it. And it was just different, a different method than I thought. So that's one thing I've learned. Another thing I've learned um, in, the, in this prayer challenge is, man, you gotta go to God with everything. Like there is nothing uh, too big or too small that you can't go to him with and you you gonna have moments where you don't feel like doing but you still need to do because god is our life support he's our strength um and we have moments of weakness i going through this i i felt weak at times and the lord strengthened me like on the last couple of days me not feeling like myself man i felt so weak but in my weakness god was made strong and he made me stronger but and, and so these are the things that i've learned in the prayer so as you you're you know you you're looking over the last 30 days and no matter how many days you've done it if you haven't gone the whole 30 days that is fine that is okay i want you guys to have a relationship with god and not just do the prayer challenge and that's it no, I want you to know God. I want you to hear God. I want you to talk to God. I want you to have a relationship with God and God wants to have a relationship with you. So go deeper. Keep talking. Keep sp Don't allow this because this is the last day to be. That's it. I don't talk to God no more into the next prayer challenge. No, tomorrow I'll invite him into your day. And let's let's do it. Let's do it right here. Let's let's pray and and as you're 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 praying, don't just watch me pray with me. Um pray for, you know, whatever the Lord puts on your heart, pray with me. Um pray for me and 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 whatever the Lord puts on your heart to pray. Um but whatever you you hear and see me do, take it as a tip. Um and incorporate it in your prayer life as the Lord leads you. But let, let's just get right into it. So, Father God, I thank you. I thank you for who you are. I thank you for your sweet spirit. I thank you for waking me up. I thank you for starting me on my day. I thank you for allowing me to make it through the day. I thank you for health. I thank you for understanding. I thank you for revelation knowledge. I thank you for a sound mind. I thank you for a clean heart and a right spirit within me. I thank you for leading and guiding me. I thank you for directing me and ordering my steps. I thank you for being my God. I thank you for being my Savior. I thank you for being the creator creator of heaven and earth. I thank you that all things were made by you and for you. I thank you that you're God and God alone. I thank you that you don't need me, God, but I need you. I thank you for breathing life into my nostrils. I thank you for leading and guiding me. I thank you for protecting me. I thank you for protecting me as I come and as I go. I thank you for allowing me to make it through this work day. I thank you for allowing me to make it to Tuesday. I thank you for opening my eyes that I may see. I thank you for strength. I thank you for power. I thank you for revelation, knowledge, and understanding. I thank you for being a strong tower that I run into and am saved. I thank you for being my God and my protector. I thank you for being my peace and my joy. I thank you when I don't feel like it, God, you strengthen me and give me an anointing to do. I thank you for the ability to press past all the thoughts, feelings, and the emotions. I thank you, God, for transformation. I thank you for changing my heart, changing my mind, changing my thoughts, God. I thank you, God for strengthening me. I thank you, God, when I am weak, then you make me strong. I thank you for your protection. I thank you for your voice. I thank you for the ability to hear your voice. I thank you for the ability to know you. I thank you that I have a relationship with you. I thank you that you have come to live within me. I thank you that you live in me, that you walk in me, that you talk in me. I thank you, God, that you you search me and you remove anything that is unlike you. I thank you for chastisement. I thank you for correcting me. I thank you for instructing me. I thank you for directing me. I thank you for cleansing me. I thank you for righteousness. I thank you for making me righteous. I thank you for making me whole. I thank you for making me free. I thank you for making me redeemed. I thank you for saving me. I thank you, God, for newness of life, God. I thank you for life. I thank you for understanding. I thank you for revelation. I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for your power. I thank you for your might. I thank you for your word. I thank you that your word is true. I thank you for ordering and directing my steps. I thank you for your word being a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. I thank you, God for your word being true. I thank you for being mighty. I thank you for being omnipotent. I thank you for being God almighty. I thank you for being God all knowing, all wise, God. 
to thank you, God, for being immutable, for not changing, God. Thank you for never changing on me. I thank you for never leaving me. I thank you that no man can pluck me out your hands. I thank you that I'm in your hand. I thank you that you protect me. I thank you for angels that you have assigned to my life. I thank you that for angels that you have protecting my life. I thank you, God, for your word. I thank you for speaking to me through your word. I thank you for those who you placed in my life. I thank you for those who you removed from my life. I thank you, God, for every viewer. For every person subscribed to this channel. I thank you for every person who's done this prayer challenge, God. I thank you for them. I thank you for the strength, God, that you're giving them. That you're renewing their strength right now as we're praying. I thank you that you're building them up, God. That you're giving them tools on how to pray and how to spend time with you. I thank you, God, that you're building a relationship with you. With, with them. That they may know you, God. That they would know you deeper. More, more stronger, God. I thank you, God, that you have not given them the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a, and a sound mind. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you all have a power and you have love and you have a sound mind. That your mind is in peace. I thank you for sanity for every viewer, for every subscriber. I thank you for strength for every viewer and every subscriber. I thank you, God, that every need is being met. I thank you, God, that you're renewing their mind, that you're strengthening them, that you're healing them, God, that you're providing for them. I thank you for increase. I thank you for those who are in, in decision, God, that you're giving them revelation and understanding to make the right decision. I thank you, God, that you're ordering and directing their steps, that you're leading and guiding them, that you're directing them, that you're loving on them, that you're God, you're, you're being big and being built up in them God I pray that they know you more deeper I pray God that they're strong in you I pray God that you are making them solid that they're on the solid firm foundation which is Christ Jesus I thank you that you're giving them understanding and revelation of their of your word I thank you that you're teaching them I thank you that you're growing them up I thank you that you're filling them with your Holy Spirit I thank you that you're maturing them I thank you that you're restoring their families that you're restoring broken relationships that you're healing them from pains of their past that you're pulling out addictions that you're pulling out that, that, that you're pulling out strongholds, God, that you're breaking strongholds and chains in their lives, that chains are being broken right now, that they're being whole, that they're being set free in their mind, that anxiety and depression is being stripped from them, that you're having your way in and through their hearts, God, that you're moving mightily in them, in their thoughts, that you're transforming their way of thinking, God, that they no longer think how they used to think, but they're thinking according to the kingdom and, and according to your principles and your way. I thank you that your will is being done in their lives. I thank you for promotion. I thank you for strategies. I thank you for ideals. I thank you for healing. I thank you, God, that you're having your way in and through them right here, right now, God. I thank you for wholeness, God. I thank you that there is nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken in them because of you, God. I thank you that you're renewing them, God. I thank you that you're guiding them. I thank you that you're opening doors that no man can shut, that you're putting together marriages. You're making whole, God, that they're renewing, God, their marriage, that you're renewing their marriage, God. You're making their marriage whole. That you're showing them how to be the men and women of God that you have called and created them to be. That purpose is being revealed. That destiny is being revealed. I thank you for miracle signs and wonders that are breaking forth in and through them. In and through their family. In and through their bloodline. In and through them, God. In and through their children. I thank you for protection of their children. Protection of their peace. Protection of, uh, of, of their hearts, God. I thank you, God, that you're having your way in and through them. I thank you. I thank you. Say, God, that you're having your way in and through them, that you're touching, healing, and delivering, that you're strengthening them, God, that you're strengthening them, God, that you're strengthening them, God, that you're strengthening, that your Holy Spirit fire is just falling on them, God, and consuming their flesh, consuming their thoughts, God, that you're are transforming their way of thinking that you're uprooting the pains of the past God that they are not their past that they're healed and redeemed that you are making them whole that you are saving their souls that you are changing their minds that you're creating in them a clean heart and a right spirit within them that you're having your way in and through them that Holy Ghost fire is filling them that you're having your way in and through your people God have your way 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 easy Get at all. I thank you for favor, God. Favor at their jobs. Favor, God. 
favor, favor in their homes, favor God, favor, 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 favor with their friends, favor in relationships, favor in their church. I thank you for increasing their finances, God, that you are showing them how to be a good steward over what you've given to them, God, that you're showing them how to be a giver, God, and they be an even better receiver, God. I, I thank you, God, that they are knowing how to build a relationship, how to talk with you, how to ask, God. I thank you, God, for what you're doing in this moment. I thank you, God, that everything that we've laid before you is so, God, that you are providing, God, that you are healing, God, that you are renewing, that you are redeeming, that you are saving, that you are transforming, that you are, you are moving great and mightily, God. I thank you, God, for their families, God, that you're blessing them, that you're covering and protecting them, God. I pray for our nation. I pray, God, that we be strong in you in the power of our, of your might. That you have your way, God. That we turn back unto you. That you may be. That you may be. That you may be glorified in everything. That you may be acknowledged in all of our ways. That you may direct and order our paths. God, we are asking you to come in. Come in. Come in. Come into our jobs. Come into our hearts. Come into our families. Come into our finances. Come into everything. Everything, God. Have your way. We want you in it. We want you to be the center of it. We want you in our lives. We want you in our finances. We want you in our relationships. We want you in our ministries. We want you, God, in everything that we do. We want you in our children, in our children's children, in our grandchildren, in our great-grandchildren. We want you, God. We want you. We want you. We want you. We want you. Come, 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 Holy Spirit. Also, we want you in our communities. We want you in our cities. We want you in our states. We want you in our legislative. We want you in our in our judicial system. We want you in our courts. We want you, God, in everything concerning us. We want you. We want you in our churches. We want you, God. We want you. We want you. We want you in us. We want you in our hands and our feet and our eyes and our ears. We want you, God. We want to hear you more clearly. What saith the Lord? What do you have to say? What do you want us to do? Where do you want us to go? What do you want us that we surrender unto you right here? And in this moment, our hearts, our soul, our mind, our will, our emotions, everything is being surrendered unto you. Have your way, God. Be big in us. He said it all so kid it at all so kid at I see it at all so kid I say we want you in our decisions. We want you in our decisions. He see it at all so kid at I he see it at all so kid at I it at all so kid I say we want you in our neighborhoods, God. We want you in our homes. He see it at all so we want you in our cars. We want you, God, in our movies. Yet at all so kid at I we want you in our dreams and our visions. I say, we want you in our present. We want you in our future. We want you, God, in all things. We want you in all ways. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, for we are nothing without you. We will do nothing. We'll be nothing. We are forever in need. I am forever in need of you. Right here, right now, God. Have your way. Have your way. Spirit fall. Fill us up, God. Fill us up. Fill us up. We pray that revival will break forth, God, in our countries, in America. I pray for this virus, this uh, conus virus, God. I pray healing. I pray healing. Pray healing. I pray healing in our cities, in Hong Kong, in Mexico, in New Zealand, in Australia, in America, in Africa, in China. We pray in all the Asian countries, God, healing will break forth, that people will be healed and restored, that their souls will be saved, that their bodies will be healed, they, that they will be healed from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, God, that you would consume this virus and destroy it, God, that you would give us the, the antidote for it, the healing for it, the power for it, overcome it, God, have your way, consume it, consume it, choke it out, God, yet I also can I say I pray for those who are struggling, God with anxiety and depression, I pray that they will be healed, that they will be whole and set free, that you will break the chain of depression, that you will break the chain of anxiety, that you will break the chain of anxiousness, God, that we will be anxious for nothing but secure in you, that we will be patient and wait on you and have your way, God. Healing, go forth, God. Pray, we pray that you would just heal our land, God. We are turning to you that we don't know what to do. We need you. We need more of you. We need more more of your power, more of your might, more of you, more of your anointing, more of your will, more of your way right here in this place. God, have your way. 
Sierra La Oso Piera Raini. Y Sierra La Oso Piera say, we want you, God. In our TV, and social media, we want you everywhere. And in all things, we are desperately in need of you. And without you, we can't be. Without you, we can't go. Without you, we can't do. There is no life without you. There is no me without you. I am in desperate need of you. I say, God, I need you always. Forever will I be in need of you. There is not a day I can't, I can't live without you. I can't breathe without you. I can't be without you. I proclaim that you are God and God alone that you are high and lifted up, that you are Alpha and the Omega, that you are creator of heaven and earth, that all things were made by you and for you, and without you, nothing is that is. You are everything. You are everything, God. I pray, Holy Ghost, fire fall. Fill your people. We desire to know you more intimately, more deeper, to hear you, God. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that they would hear your voice and the voice of a stranger they wouldn't follow, but it would be you, Jesus Christ. You know, we follow and we obey. That we hear your voice so clearly. That we grow in deeper revelation, deeper understanding, not our will, not our way, but your will be done, your way be made. Whatever you want to do, you have your way, God. Your will be done. We pray that thy kingdom come, that thy will be done on this earth as it is in heaven, God. We pray your will be done. We pray your kingdom would come here. We want you. We want you. Not what we think is right. It's what you say is right. It's what you say is true. You are supreme in authority. You are the Lord of our lives. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you for everyone. Everyone watching. Everyone joining in. Everyone praying. Everyone, God. I thank you that every need is being met, every prayer is being answered, that you are doing, God, exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ask or think. I thank you that you hear us when we pray, that you hear us when we talk to you, that you hear us. God, you hear us, 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 and you answer us. Most importantly, you answer us. I thank you, God, that we have, we have according according to your word, according to your will, according to your purpose, according to your direction, according to what you've spoken over us and in and through us. I thank you that we're the head and not the tail. I thank you that we're above only and not beneath. I thank you that we're the lenders and not the borrowers. I thank you, God, that we're blessed when we come and we're blessed when we go. I thank you that we have an understanding. I thank you that we have revelation knowledge. I thank you that we have a relationship with you. I thank you that we have Holy Spirit in us. I thank you that we have you living and making your abode in us, God. I thank you that you're uprooting and breaking generational curses in our bloodline, God. I thank you that you're restoring and healing relationships in our lives, God. I thank you that you're removing people that don't belong in our lives, God, and placing those who do. I thank you. I thank you that you're restoring marriages, you're healing marriages, and you're restoring people brokenness, and you're making us whole, nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. I pray for uh, the Bryant family, and every family was affected in that uh, helicopter crash. I pray for their strength pray that you get them through it, that you cover them and protect them, that you give them a sound mind. You give them peace in this tough time, God, and you strengthen them and just continue to be with them and get them through it. I pray, God, that you provide whatever need that they stand in need of, all the protection, all the revelation, all that you would just comfort them and hold them and just wrap your arms around them and pour out your love and your spirit upon them, that you would save their souls, that they would be whole and know you like never before. In your mighty name, Jesus Christ, everything that I've laid before you is so and done. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. God loves you, man. I love you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining in and praying. Thank you for your prayers for me and my family. Um, God bless you all. I love you and Jesus loves you. Have a great day. Bye.